Hi, welcome back to my suburban garden. I'm Sheila, and it is a beautiful day in Georgia today. The birds are singing, the sun's coming up. So, today we're going to talk about fertilizer. I found it very confusing. I really did. Last year, I fertilized occasionally. I, it, I didn't really stick to a schedule, I, so I did some research and I just got even more confused. But, it looks like every four weeks is about right. So I'm going to stick to that schedule this year and see how it goes. So, watch along with me and find out how it goes. So, can you over fertilize? Apparently you can. So, when you over fertilize, it causes the plants to make an excess amount of foliage and less fruit. So, I'm going to watch for that and see if that happens. Then I'll back up, back off of uh, every four weeks. But for right now, I'm going to stick to the every four week uh, schedule. And I am probably going to start in a couple of weeks because I've got things in the ground and uh, I fertilized when I um, planted them. So I'm going to wait a couple more weeks and I'll start fertilizing. But I want to take this minute to ask you to please subscribe. Subscribing helps me so much. And I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I think I'm getting better at these videos. So please like this video too while you're at it. So back to what I was talking about. So when I was doing my research, I got so confused. I really did. It said, so there was this one site, corn for instance, which I have a small cornfield. <laughs> it said <clears throat> that when it's eight inches off, uh, eight inches tall, to put urea and uh, oh, what was it called? Uh, ammonium sulfate. And then when the silks make, uh, silks uh, produce, when it produces silks, to put uh, super phosphate. I'm not doing all that. <laughs> So I use a 51010 and um, it seems to be generally, some things ask for a 101010. I, I'm not trying to, every time I go to fertilize, look up well, what do beans need and what do cucumbers need. I'm just gonna stick to 51010 for everything. I'm gonna fertilize in a couple weeks and I will make a video when I do it. Maybe a short, I haven't decided yet. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to stick to 5, 10, 10. I'm going to make it, keep it simple, stupid kiss. So keep it simple. I, I really am. I am not going to get into the, to the deep and it just seems so, so much. <laughs> and I'm not going to do all that. I am going to do it the same way I compose lazy. So, it, it may differ for your soil health. I don't know. I use dirt. So, I'm in West Georgia, uh, just west of Atlanta, and um, zone 8A. So, if you're doing raised beds, it's all going to be the same because it's topsoil and compost. Um, I have pumpkins in the ground, but again, with them, I, pumpkins and watermelons, and uh, but other than that, and my corns in the ground, everything else is in beds. So I'm just gonna stick to the five, ten, ten for this year. We'll see how it goes together, and I appreciate you for being here. I really do. And so this has been my suburban garden. I've been Sheila, and I will see you in the next one.